Hey everybody, welcome to my little humble add-on creating channel here. Now, what I'm done now is I've upgraded OCP to 3.0. Kind of skipped a few in the two range, but it just kind of made more sense because this was a bigger upgrade. The long drop-down list for if you had all those OCP objects in here before is not there now. Now it is an icon gallery where you can just select anything you want. If you have lights in the scene, you'll be able to find out those lights and select them as active. And then if you are on all objects, you can pick up whatever you have in here. If I grab the Suzanne, I can see that there is no OCP on it. So starting from the top, uh, if you did delete something, like one of these, I go back to mesh, You'll see I still have extra object in here. So you can just refresh the gallery. And now that object is not going to show. So all that, I'll make another copy. You can see we got 1.5 million faces, over 3 million triangles. That's quite a lot. And I know there are some arguments people have for the convex hull adding more geometry, but it is not true. And I've added some extra things in OCP so it doesn't uh, really affect you. So I'll just OCP all objects. You can see what that says there. And if I OCP all objects, it may select the lights, but obviously it's not adding it to them. It's a very specific loop and it is running an operator, a very uh, sophisticated operator that's not going to try to add stuff to non mesh objects. Thus, the uh, toggle button here does the same thing. It loops through the objects that have the proxy on it. It does not affect anything else. So if you had, I don't want to do that. Let's see. Let's add another geometry nodes to this. And if I toggle this off, it is not toggling the non-is viewport, or rather the OCP uh, modifier here is just toggling off the one you want. And that's really important to understand so it does not interrupt your workflow. It's a very, very uh, well thought out add-on. It has some very good input um, from a couple of different people who bought it. And if you did pick this up, go leave a review if you don't mind. If you already bought it, leave a review. If you're going to go get it on Blender Market, uh, you can try it, do the free trial, obviously. You get a free trial. It's gonna allow you to do like maybe, it kind of looks like about this section. That's how it looks. And then you'll have the button here to add um, an OCP to one single object. It doesn't have all the other bells and whistles on it. it. doesn't have this gallery for selection. So you can go pick that up. Please rate it. Um, yeah, that way I can make a living doing this because I'm trying to do. I'm trying to learn as much about Blender Python as possible so I can make some really amazing add-ons. And it's funny, I haven't seen anybody do a proxy add-on anywhere. If you guys have seen it, let me know in the comments. So we got 98,000 triangles and 84,000 faces. <clears throat> Still a lot, but it's not 1.5 million. So if you toggle this on, then that's what you get. Now, if you were to bring in another object, and I do have a cone in here. Uh, let me double check and go to the view layer. Is that cone still there? Yeah, it's there. It's just hidden. There we go. I could have hit Alt H for that, but I didn't. And the cone is what I'm going to use to change the proxy on this one. So if I just select cone and then click this uh, little button right here, this is going to then make this uh, the proxy. But you don't want it snapping off crazy. So you do have a button here, relative or original. You get to choose. Then you can come over here and you can hide this. Now that's your original mesh and you can turn the proxy on and off. And now we're already down to 65,000 triangles. Now if you don't want to like go through all that, you can just um, hit the low poly slider here and kind of bring that down. And as you do that, you'll see it cut it in half again, 35,000. And if I bring the low poly slider up just a little bit for this one, maybe not that much, let's say like 0.75 is pretty good. Um, now we're down to 8,000. So it's still usable to do the uh, 
whatever you call it here, <laughs> the convex hole. And you can see the other mesh object is not there. It is projecting that is viewport uh, with a node group that is obviously dedicated to just the viewport. Make sure I've got a camera in here. You can also check, like I said, lights. You can also check cameras. So if you've got a camera, then you can list all those as well. If I go ahead and render this bad boy out, you'll see the cone. Nothing shows up. All these are just the proxies uh, gone and the original mesh behind it. The low poly slider, though, will show up because it is actually affecting the mesh at the end of the node group. Now, so you can actually add damage to some of your stuff, but it may chop it up a bit. So it's just, you know, whatever. It's not really designed to do that. So, you know, just proceed with caution. And then obviously, yeah, all objects, refresh uh, the cursor, throw the, th the cursor back to the middle. Uh, you got to snap on and off, just a quick thing. You can toggle the x-ray. We say you can just add an OCP to this real quick if you wanted to. Uh, you can toggle everything on off. You can delete them all at one time. You can click one of these and add a uh, node group for a wireframe. And what you'll see, and this isn't really the way I wanted to do it, but it kind of seemed interesting. So if you click this button, because a lot of people don't know that there's a Pi menu or they forget or I just don't tell them Control-Alt-Z for the Pi menu. And so if you hit Control-Alt-Z, you'll get some of the other OCP things here, like you can toggle, you can do all that stuff here, you can close this, and you can do shade smooth, auto, you can change this, uh, face orientation, you can delete all proxies, you can OCP all objects from here. Like I said, you just toggle these on and off from the uh, thing, and you don't have to use my setup. You can go in here and you can change that to whatever buttons you want. So change your Pi menu to, you know, like Alt, Shift, Alt, F, anything you want. It doesn't matter. And you can get it, because that way if you have a conflict, you're not going to have a conflict anywhere. So the cursor to world origin, see, it should work. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that works. Select active object, it's just whatever. And here is for the wireframe. So let's actually delete all the OCPs. I'm just going to grab one object and add the um, advanced wireframe to it. It's not necessarily like a, an amazing node group, but it's just something for fun I kind of threw in here. All right, so I crashed my um, Blender version there because I tried to put a Geometry Nodes wireframe set up with instances on points with five subdivisions. So whatever, we do these things sometimes. So anyways, control alt Z, uh, well, I'm gonna refresh. This is actually a refresh button for the icon gallery. Uh, so if I add that on there, you'll see what it does. Uh, it's not necessarily great. Uh, it's just a little fun node group. You kind of play around with some of the values here. Let's see, radius for these bad boys can come down just a little bit. You can shade it smooth. Uh, you can realize the instances. And then you've got some materials on there as well. Just something fun to play with. And I will leave you guys with that. Like I said, please, well, if I didn't say it, please go rate the add-on. I really appreciate that because I do, you know, I'm trying to learn as much as I can about creating add-ons to make some really good stuff. You got some suggestions, do that. But if you rate it, it helps me be more successful more quickly um, on the blender market and other places like i said i got that free version on a bunch of my add-ons so once you go to that uh, main page and let's pull this bad boy up if you go to this page and you click mr steve 3d you'll see i've got uh, a good number of add-ons light magic studios got a freebie i believe cracks has a freebie and you can pick up some of the other ones just free you know because it's fun it's just fun that way so yeah this one's zeros one zero it's got a freebie zero good parenting is zero i2m is zero and 
I've got a tutorial for IA scatter, which is whatever, it's zero, and I've got a beginner tutorial, which is kind of out of date now, but it just teaches the interface anyway, so it's really not out of date. That one is zero, and then for Philogic's P Bear Painter Pro, I've got a tutorial that'll teach you a lot of cool tricks with it and just kind of how to use the interface on it, and that one is also zero. So, yeah, okay, so go check it out. Rate it, appreciate it.